Hello, my name is Lee from Microfocus. In this video, I'm going to display how to install an execution server with Silk Central. After logging into Silk Central, we need to download the execution installer from the execution environment section within Silk Central. Once we have navigated to this section, we need to download the execution server installer by clicking on the download link at the top right hand side of the screen. And we can see that here. Double click this. As you can see, we can automatically see that the download has begun. Once downloaded, please zip this and move it to the intended execution server machine. When transferred across to the execution server machine, we first need to ensure that the UAC user account control settings has been set to never notify. If it is not been set to never notify, please ensure you have logged in with administrative privileges, slide the slider down to never notify, and then reboot the machine. A reboot is needed because this is a Windows service. So in this instance, I'm just going to show you how this looks and ensure that on this execution environment, the slider has been slid down to never notify, which we can see here. Once confirmed, we then just need to hit OK. Then run the executable. Let the install wizard run. This is simply just going to ex extract the executable contents and then prepare to install. Next, next. Agree to the license terms. Next, next again. And finally, one more next. This will copy everything over and then proceed to install it. Once this has successfully been installed, please ensure to take note of the IP address on the execution server machine, as we will use this hostname for the configuration. Once installed, we should get another thing, send finish, yep. Once this is installed, we then move back over to the Silk Central environment and ensure you're on the execution environment and then proceed to hit new physical execution server. In here, we're going to enter the hostname. The hostname for this environment will be the IP address of the previous one as this is unique and specific to this machine. Once entered, we can then modify the name. Please, use, please ensure that the name is just anything relevant to your environment so you can easily understand from one to many execution servers. Then we're going to provide keywords. Assign the keyword necessary for when you want to configure the execution server for a test deployment. I'll assign a few just to show how this is done. Again, with the assigning of the keywords, you can have one to many. So for instance, I'm just going to select one to about four. Once this has been done, we then hit OK. Check the Advanced tab, make sure the ports are correct, and if you're using SSL, please ensure you've got it selected. And then hit OK. Now we can ensure that the new execution server is there and it's active, all the details are correct. We're now going to assign. So in this instance, I'm just going to select an execution plan, move to the Deployment tab, hit the Edit on the Keyword Assignment, and then assign it the execution server that we just created so that this execution plan will use this execution server for any future de deployments. For more information and to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please follow the links at the end of the video and thanks for watching.